Hello YouTube. In last video, we controlled the direction of DC motors and we achieved the motion of Firebird V robot. In this video, we are going to control the speed of DC motors and also write some functions which are helpful in future. For that, we are going to modify the DC motor direction control program which we learned in last video. I kept the link in the description. Open the program, go to wide setup. As you can see, we were running the motors with their full capacity using these two lines. Let us reduce the speed of rotation. For that, instead of digital write function, we are going to use analog write function. The analog write function also takes two attributes. First is pin number. This pin should be a PWM pin. And second is an integer value between 0 to 255. When it is 0, the motor will not rotate. And when it is 255, the motor will rotate with its full capacity. To understand this, we will vary the speed of rotation of left wheel only. Therefore, just modify this line. You can choose any value instead of 150. Now compile the code and upload the .hex file to the robot. We already discussed this process in our last videos. Instead of 150, if I make it to 255, the robot will move straight. Try varying the speed of right wheel also. Now, as we discuss, let's write some functions which are helpful in future programs. First of all, we will write functions to control individual wheel motions that is forward, reverse and stop. Similarly, let us write functions for right wheel also. These are the functions to control individual wheel. Let's write functions to control robot motions. These are the functions to control robot motions. Let us use these functions in our code. Now the robot will move in forward direction for 2 seconds, it will stop for 2 seconds, it will move in reverse direction for 2 seconds and it will stop for 2 seconds. Compile the program and upload the .hex file. These functions are good if we are not varying the speed. Let's modify these functions to have control over the speed. For that, first remove these two lines from wide setup. And modify these functions as Here, we are passing an argument which is integer value between 0 to 255 to control the speed of robot. As we are moving the robot in forward or reverse direction, the speed of both wheels should be same. Let's use this. Here, while moving in forward direction, I am passing a value that is 255. That means the robot will move in forward direction with its full capacity. Whereas, while moving in reverse direction, I am passing 150. 
that means the robot will move with reduced speed Let's write functions to take turns. To take a left turn, the left wheel of robot should rotate in reverse direction, whereas the right wheel should rotate in forward direction. Similarly, to take a right turn, the right wheel of robot should turn in reverse direction whereas left wheel of the robot should move in forward direction. You can try using these functions in your code. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.